I wonder if you guys can tell me where that song is from. Ready? I'm not going to say what it is. I'm just going to have you guys guess in the comment sections. I don't know why that song came to my head, but here we go. <laughs> but anyway, um, this is an update video. I guess it's not really an update video. It's not going to be that long. But um, I don't know how I'm going to like pan it together yet. But this is just a video because last night, one of the YouTubers that I watched and I follow, her name is Keisha Charmaine. And she did a video regarding where what basically what happened to all the locked YouTubers. And she was basically saying in the past that there were so many people on YouTube with locks and tutorials and lock empowerment and lockers. And people were like, yeah, go locks, go YouTube. And it was just such a thriving community. And now it's like dwindling where people are not posting as much about locks. Um, you know, and I, I kind of see what she's saying, I understand, and I feel that way sometimes, and then sometimes I, look, sometimes I look at myself, where I used to make videos about hair and locks, and I have basically, I haven't made a video in like seven months, um, and I, and I admit that I'm one of those people that fell off, um, why I don't, but I, I know why, I don't really know why. I know why because I got more busy at work. Um, I work, in, like I always say, most of my videos are work in corporate America. I work for a financial company. I am a manager there. I manage a staff. I, it's a sales environment. It's a hustle, 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 bustle, bustle, New York City kind of job where you're just hustle, hustle, bustle, bustle, corporate meetings, conference calls. How much money did you make today? Sales goals, sales goals. How much money did your team bring in? It's just that kind of environment. By the time I get home from that, it is like time for my son, time for my family, take a bath, eat, go to bed. Um, so I can understand that's why I have stopped making videos. Um, and sometimes, honestly, you just don't know what to talk about. You feel that the internet is flooded already with so much information. Like, how many videos can you make about curling your locks or lock products and for me I really don't use that many lock products. I am very minimalist when it comes to putting products in my hair because I don't want my hair to be weighed down by too many products. I want my hair to thrive and be healthy with as minimal products as possible. So sometimes it's just the ideas like what do you what do you make a video about? What do you say? But then you think there's a lot going on around you, a lot going around going on in New York, around the world, around the country and sometimes you want to talk about it, but like I said, who has the time to upload, edit, and do a video? But yeah, I take ownership in that, in the sense where I have stopped making YouTube videos. I have stopped, um, even my Instagram has slowed down because it's, and then also for me, it's, do I really want to share that much? I really have to be honest with that question, like how much of my life do I want to share at the same time? I'm not saying I'm super private, but at the same time, that conspiracy theorist kind of mentality sinks in like, you know, I know Big Brother's already watching me, but if I share too much, then they know my whereabouts, my every move, and then, you know, that's when they can come down. Not that I have anything to hide, but if I share too much, you never know who's out there watching, and that part is real also but that's just how the society is going on everybody's sharing everybody's showing their life everybody's showing what's going on and then the good side to that is all that sharing all that openness is allowing so many things to come to the forefront about life that even if you can't experience it yourself you can experience it from the internet from instagram youtube all these different social media networks so that's the benefit of it but sometimes i wonder do i really want to share it that much I don't know, but that was just my two cents. I really appreciate, really, really appreciate um, Keisha Charmaine for just saying it, putting it out there, like, where are you guys? Where are the lockers? Um, I'm one of them. I'm one of the ones that fell off, but I don't know if I'm, I'm not going to promise when to start posting every week, every two weeks, every month now, because sometimes my life does get hectic, but it is, it is a question to think about. What do you post? I don't know. But anyway, ooh, come on. I was putting on my makeup, but I had to make the video really quick so my concealer is not blended out too, too well yet. 
But anyway, you guys, um, yeah, I miss you guys too. I miss the comments. I miss talking to everyone. I miss sharing all this luscious hair. I miss just give you a little sample. <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe hopefully I'll come back on a regular schedule. I don't know. But it's just something to think about. Anyway, good seeing you guys. I hope, um, thank you for all my new subscribers. I've been getting some more subscribers and I'm like, I'm be posting videos, but thank you anyway. I appreciate it. And for all those people that have been rocking with me since day one, thank you so much. I appreciate it. And let me finish and get to work because, um, my job waits for no one. But thank you guys. Have a good day. Bye. Do I say deuces? Do I say peace? But pieces? Peace? Or what do I say? Like, everybody always says deuces. Big up yourself. <laughs>